let me help you understand something about time in the greek language there are two major ways that generally defines time number one this is what we call chronos the word chronos it's a greek word which in english is translated time literally chronos it represents a chronological time that you know which is calculated in seconds is calculated in minutes like your watch your wedding chronos chronos it is for everyone everyone has chronos everybody can understand chronos. and then you have another time of which is called the kairos you will realize that these two are different chronos and kairos are different chronos it is a general time that everybody has as i'm talking to right now i can ask you what time is it each one of you will tell me what time is it. and then we have the karos karos it is the god's appointed time it has no seconds it has no days it has no yes i i wish i had a church in here somebody shot the kairos time it is the god appointed time and i came to prophesy today but when i look at chronos i can see it's around god about two in the afternoon but when i look at kairos i can see it's a time to favor her oh i i wish i had a church in here somebody said when i look at kairos it's a time of favor a season of favor do you understand what i'm saying and somebody's like why why is favor coming now let me tell you why it's coming now because god's time and your time are not the same you can't measure time but a kairos it happens when you don't expect when people have given up on you and they thought you will never become anything in life and they thought you will never prosper in life and they thought you are deep in poverty God, the God of favor and the God of mercy will come down and pick you up out of the crowd lift up your hand and show them my father, my father pick me out of the crowd